Yep, I think it's over here. Every time I'm here, something changes in this place. Do you need to use the restroom or anything? I'm, I'm good right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll have you put your sunglasses here. Just something to stuff. In fact, uh, I'll have you sit over here. Sure. Let me see your hand real quick. Yeah. I'll just probably get, get some photos of that. <clears throat> It's starting to, uh, how does it feel right now? A little sore, but not bad. Okay. Any headaches you have at all right now? Bit, no? A little bit. Just a little bit? Okay. Are you not feeling nauseous or anything? No, a little, but not bad. Okay. Do you, do you want me to call paramedics, check 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 you out? or? No, I think it's more adrenaline than anything. Gotcha. Do you have any medical issues that might be underlying that? Yeah, I'm slightly overweight. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, yeah, join the club. <laughs> Other than that, uh, high blood pressure or anything? Or a you little bit of that no, you need to have? No, no. Just, okay. It was a little high in my last physical, but not. Oh, okay. Okay. Nothing major, no medication or anything like that. Groovy, okay. Hey, Rob, if you don't mind hanging tight, do you need another water or are you good? Oh, you got one? I got an extra. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. We'll be right back, Rob. Yep, all right. sit a lot when I type, sitting in the car, driving around, yeah. like I want to stand a lot of times, but sometimes it's just too hard to write and stand.
I'm all set, Robert. If okay. You're, if you're good. Yep, I'm good. Uh, the only thing is uh, the re what he was using to okay. clean his head. Other than that, this is all his uh, property. Okay. I did call an ID tech to have that. Photograph? You did? I, no, I did okay. not. Okay. I did not. If you could have a call one for yep. the interview room right downstairs. Now. Thank you. you. Bet. Are we still on I think they were going to clear it, but I had my radio off. All right, Alexander. My name is Nate Moffitt. I'm in the Sacramento Police Department. Um, all right. I want to talk, walk through yes. what happened today. Um, let me just write a couple of things down. So, is are you still living out on yep. Shuri Street? Yep. Okay. So, did it Are you working right now? I'm off this week. Okay. Well, where do you work at? Uh, what do you do for them? On a driver truck. Mostly hauling has waste. Okay. What's the cell phone number for you? Okay. What about Soch? Okay, I have very little understanding or knowledge of what happened. Patrol kind of, you know, Rob, or uh, yeah. the, the officer that, that talked to you out there, kind of, it, it kind of turns into the phone game. So, you know what I mean? When some, when, when they go, yeah, this is what he says, but they're kind of rambling through it real fast. Um, and same with your sister. Your sister's name is Lori or yeah. Lauren? Lori. L-O-R-I. L-O-R-I? Okay. So... The big thing that I want to do is just make sure that we have all the details yep. accurate yep. and factual. Yep. Um, so, because kind of some of the information we got from patrol didn't really match up what Lori told us sure. compared to. So, walk me through what happened today. Well, I uh, stayed the night at my sister's. Okay. Uh, we were planning to go do something fun day. We hadn't really decided. I was thinking maybe we go. I was going to take her to the range. Okay. Um, or. Go do something. Okay. And I'll take JD to some water park or movies or whatever. Um, so uh, I stayed there last night, and then this morning Charles showed up, and I don't know what started it. And Charles is your brother-in-law. Her and he and Lori are married. Yes. Okay. So he showed up. Um, he was um, following her and yelling. Um, and then I got between them. And then Tylee came out with her bat. And they had, I had separated for a minute. And then my sister had walked around me there in the living room. And then Charles was following Lori and yelling. And Tylee told her to get, told him to get back. She took her bat like that and shoved him and he took the bat away. And I said, what are you doing? And I got between them and then he hit me and I just went down, and when I got up, he was still yelling. And uh, so I went into the bedroom where I was staying, and grabbed my gun, and I came back. Okay. And uh, told him to put the gun down, or the bat down. And he came to me, and was saying, you're gonna, what are you gonna do? Like that, come to me with the bat. I said, put it down, he wouldn't, he came at me, so. Okay. So, when, the, when that argument first started between Lori and Charles, yeah. where in the house were they? I don't know. Okay. Where Where did you first... I was in my bedroom. Okay, so you were in my bedroom. And you heard the argument? Uh, when, when they came right towards me. Okay, so the, they were coming down the hallway towards the bedroom? Yes. Okay, so you, you hear the argument, you step out, what's the first thing that you see? Uh, Charles chasing after Lori and yelling. Okay. Had, had Tyler was... already gotten the the bat? No. Did he already have the no. bat? Okay. No. So Charles is coming towards Lori. He's They're coming, coming your towards way. Lori, and I shoved him back. Okay. And I said... What are you doing? Because he's coming at her aggressively. Okay. He's a big dude, so I wasn't gonna. He's not gonna hurt my sister. Okay. So he's coming at her. Yeah. Um. And you you shoved him back. Yeah. What happened right after that? Uh. He, and this in the, well, I'm sorry to he, interrupt. You. He got back up and he comes 
right to me, doesn't look at me, and continues to yell at Lori. Okay. So he's maybe this far away. Are you in the hallway of the house? No, we're right close to the doorway of that bedroom. Of the bedroom you were staying? Yes. Okay. So you're right near the bedroom? Yes. Okay. So then, I don't remember why, he backed up, and then my sister came around behind me, and they ended up in the living room, and then while they're on the way to the living room, Tylee comes out of her bedroom, which is adjacent to the one I was staying in. Okay. With her bat. Okay. Yelling at Charles. Actually, she was behind Charles at first, and then she cut around in front of him in the living room. Okay. So he then went back, they went back towards the living room yes, after, after, after you shoved him. Did yes. he fall to the ground when you shoved him? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so he falls to the ground, he gets back yeah. up. You're you're blocking between him and yes. Lori. Yes, yes. And he, he basically is talking past you, still yelling at Lori. Yes, exactly. What's he saying? I don't, I don't remember. Okay. So as you're standing there between them, what happened right after that? Is that when Tyler came out with her back? No, he backed up. Okay. He, was, he yelled something and then he backed up and then... Lori went by me and around me in the hallway. Mm -hmm. So I he backed up. I cleared the doorway. So then she came around, and then Charles was behind her, pursuing her again aggressively. Okay. Tylee came out, yelled at him with the bat. Okay. And are you guys in the living room then, or still in yeah, the hallway? Yeah. It starts in the hallway and then goes to the living room. Okay. So Tylee gets around him in the living room. He stops. Tylee goes around to the front of him, tells him to back off. What I find it easiest to do in situations like this is to just kind of draw yeah. like a rough yeah, no yeah. plan. I'm sure. So we'll make this the living room. All right, and then this is the hallway. Okay. And then this is the kitchen. So Tyler's bedroom is here. My bedroom is here. And then the living room is here. Okay, we just put living room on there, yeah. so I so I know, and then. You said that's kitchen. Yep. And then so the doorway is here. Okay. Is this is this area of the house where all of this incident was focused yes. at? Okay. Yep. And then there's another bedroom here. This is JJ's bedroom. Okay. So the, you first get involved when they're down by your room. They come all the way into the. She comes into the room and he comes right here and I stop to make right her. Okay, so she came into your room. Yeah. Okay, so she comes into your room. Um, he's coming at her yeah. aggressively, and yeah. that's when you pushed him. Yep. So you push him down. Yep. And then he gets back up. Yep. And, and then he yells, and then he backs up. Okay. And then Lori goes around and goes around him, and they're still going at it. Okay. Right. And then Tiny comes out when she hears what's going on. She has her bat. Okay. Is so, it a metal bat? Yeah, it's plastic a plastic bat. bat. Okay. So she comes at him because <laughs> she's tiny, so that's like her thing. You know, she doesn't have anything, but she wants to help defend her mom. Okay. Um. So she comes at him, and then when and they, they've already moved back right, towards the living so they're going this way. Okay. So Lori's here. Tylee's here. Charles is here. I'm here. Tylee goes at him with the bat. Then. He takes the bat away from her, and I step towards him, and he turned around and cracked me. Is that that front danger yes. that's caused on your head? Okay. Well, there was some shoving first, and I got spun around. Okay. And then popped. So I go back here, grab my gun, and come back out. He's still yelling and threatening me. Okay. And then, so I was standing here, and he was there. Okay. So you're standing right there, he's yeah. right here. He's there. And you said, what, what happened What happened when you came out with the gun? I said, put that bat down. He's like, what are you going to do? He's like, are you going to threaten me? I was like, no, I'm just going to defend myself. So you put that bat down. And he goes, what are you going to do it like that? And he came at me. Okay. And he already hit me in the head. Okay, so he came at you with the bat. What yes. was he doing with the bat when he, when he came at you? It was in his right hand like this. Okay, so he's holding it low and he's coming at yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you gave him, you, how many times would you say you told him to like put the bat down? Once. Once? Okay. And then he started advancing towards you? Yes. Um, how many shots did you fire? Uh, I don't know. A couple. Okay. Were Tylee and your sister? I don't, I don't, I didn't see him, so I don't know okay. where they were. Um, where's JJ at during all this? He's already out in the car. Okay. So he's sitting out in the yeah, car. I think. Okay. But you, as far as you, you think or understand, you're not sure where they were. Correct. He's in the corner of the living yeah, room. They were no longer in the room. Okay. 
when I come back out. Okay. So they're out of the room, so it's just you and him. Yes. And he basically comes at you with the bat, and you tell him to put it down. He's threatened, like, what are you going to do about it? Yeah. And what did you tell him? I didn't say anything. He's coming at me, and I'm holding the gun. Okay. If you're going to attack someone with a gun, you've got to be ready for the repercussions. Yeah. So I just want to make sure, because he basically, you had said earlier that he had the bat. Yep. And he's asked, like, what are you going to do about it? Yeah. And you had already told him to put the bat down, and then he just came at you, and you shot him. Yep. Okay. And you're thinking a couple times? It was more than one shot. Okay. So more than one shot. What kind of gun was it? Uh, 45. Okay. What uh, make? Uh, it's a Springfield XDM. Okay. So it's an XDM 45. Yeah. What type of ammo were you carrying in it? Do you know? Just standard. Target like load. full metal jacket? Yeah. Target shooting? Okay. Yeah. Um, so you fire a couple times. Yeah. You don't, you don't know where they're at. They're gone. They're yeah. gone. What happened right after that? Um, right after that, I, uh, I went to the kitchen and rinsed my hands off because okay. I had uh, blood on the back of my head. And then uh, I went back into the room and put the gun down and grabbed my, grabbed my phone. And then I went back into the kitchen and called 911. Okay. And then did you see your sister entirely again? Did they come back in not, or not? Not until they drove up. Okay. To, then okay. they drove up here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. When they drove up outside. Gotcha. Um, what's going on with, with Charles and Lori? I mean, I just, is, does he live there? No. Okay. So no. where is he living now? He lives in Houston. Okay. Um, for work or are they separated or? Separated and for work. Okay. So yeah. both. How long have they, they been split separated? Up, um, January. Okay. So six months or so, six, seven months. Yeah. He's had some pretty erratic behavior since that split up. Okay. And he came and uh, threatened uh, me and Tylee at my house um, I don't know, in February or March or whatever. Okay. And there was a little confrontation out from mostly between Tylee and Charles. Was uh, Were the police involved in that one? No. Okay. No. I, uh, I was just supervising to make sure that he didn't hurt her. Okay. So, um, did he, in G, was he working out of state before January? Or? He always has worked out of state. Okay, so he always works out of state. What's, what's he do for a living? He does uh, annuities. Okay. So, what was he in town for today? Does he come into town often or? Occasionally to see JJ. Okay. Um, is he JJ and Tylee's dad? He's JJ's dad. Well, actually, Lorian, he's Charles's nephew. He's his niece's kid. JJ. Is. Yeah. Okay. And she was a meth addict, and they adopted JJ. Okay. So they adopted JJ, yeah. but Tylee is not. Not his. Okay. Um, so he would be a stepdad, I guess. Okay, so stepdad. Um, when's the last time he's been in town, or when's the last time you've seen him? Uh, last time I saw him was at my house in February, March. Okay. Was he here last night? Did you guys have any interactions with no, no, last night? No. Is there any history of domestic violence between Lori and Charles? Um, not physically that I know of. Okay. So, um, how old is Charles? Uh, 60, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Um, how old's your sister? About 44 or 5. Okay. Um, <laughs> is it sad that I don't know? <laughs> I have to do the math. <laughs> It's hard enough remembering my own age. Right. <laughs> Each birthday, like, that didn't happen. After 45, who cares? Um, is there anything else that you could think of that I didn't ask about that I need to know right now? I can't think of anything. Okay. Did Did Lori ever say, like in the last couple of days, that Charles was coming to town? Um, yeah, she said he was coming to pick up JJ. Okay. So you guys were expecting him to show up today? Yeah. Okay. So you knew, uh, okay, it didn't, it wasn't like he just yeah. showed up on its no, it was, no, it wasn't okay. a surprise or anything like that. But you don't know what they were arguing or no. fighting about? His behavior was a surprise, but uh, him showing up was not a surprise. Okay. Um, let me just walk you through my understanding of it yeah. to make sure that I'm accurate. You were in your room. Yeah. Had you even gotten up and like been out, out of your room this yeah, morning? Yeah, brushed my teeth. Okay. 
So you're in your room, you hear... I'm just uh, on the phone, and then I just hear them coming around the hall quick. Had you seen Charles before, or, or like no. that morning? No. Okay, so no. you hear them arguing. Yep. And by First the time, time I see him is at the doorway. At your doorway. And I shove him back. So Lori comes into your room. Yep. You're in your room. Yep. You get up at the doorway and basically get between him and Lori. Yep. You push Charles back. Yep. He, may, he probably fell down to the ground or did fall to the ground. He stumbled back. Okay. So he stumbles back. He gets get, comes right back up yep. and he's talking past you, yes. still yelling at Lori. Yes. But you don't know what he was yelling at. I don't remember. Okay. So at, a, at some point in time, Charles backs up. Lori comes out and they both go around you and towards the living room. Yes. Tylee comes out of her room with a bat. Yep. Um, and basically, they've made their way into the living room. Yes. So Tylee pokes her dad in the back. In the front. In the in chest. The front. Okay, so she, she's yeah. come around this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's so, come around. So this is Tylee, and that's Charles. Okay, so she pokes him in the in the bat, yeah. or in the chest with the bat. Yeah. You know how many times about her? Just once, and just then once. Grab the so he grabs the bat and takes it away. You come towards him. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then what happened right after that? He showed me and spun me around. Okay. And then cracked yeah. me in the back of the head. Cracked you in the back of the head. He yeah. hit you one time? Yeah. Okay. So you go back to your room. I stumbled for yeah, and then I went back in there. Did you fall to the ground when you when you got hit with the bat? No, I just, my head bounced. Okay. So you go back to your room. Yeah. Get the gun. Yeah. Come back to the living room. Yeah. Now, Tylee and Lauren, Lori are gone. Yeah. And... It's just me and Charles in the living room. Okay. And Charles... What's he doing again? He's got the bat. Okay. And he's uh, and he's looking at me and he's going. And I told him that I said, Charles, put that bat down. And he goes, What are you gonna do about it? How are you holding the gun when that happened? <laughs> holding okay, the right so you point it out. Yeah. You tell him, Charles, put the gun down. Yeah. Or put, put the, the bat, bat down. down. Mm -hmm. And what did he say? He's like, What are you gonna do about it? Okay. And then comes at me. Okay. And then you fire a couple times. Yeah. Um, but you're not sure how many. You know it was more than one. I'm pretty sure it was two. Two? Okay, two shots. Where were you aiming on his body? Just center. Okay, so you're pretty sure two shots center mass. Yeah. He falls to the ground. You don't see Lori or Tylee anymore. Correct. You go to the kitchen, grab a rag for your head. Yeah, tore some paper towels and wash my hands off. And then go back to your room, put the gun down, yeah. grab your phone, yeah. come back to the kitchen and call in. Yeah. Okay. And um, then they walked me through and tried to do... Um, CPR. Okay. Anything else that you can think of that I need to know, um, or that's important to this? So that's all there is. Okay. Um, trying to think if there's anything else that I need to know. I have. I'm going to get a, a, a tech out here to take. Mm -hmm. Take a, uh, some photographs of you if you're okay with that. That's fine. So if you want to hang tight for me, you need a restroom or anything? I'm good. Okay. All right, hang tight for me. I'll be right back. I'm going to go have somebody take us some photographs of your head. Yep. Yeah. This back in there. All right, I'll be right back. Thanks.
just waiting on one of our evidence techs. I just want to make sure you didn't need anything. I'm good. Thanks. Okay. All right. Hang tight. Run another bottle of water? No, I'm all right. Okay. Yeah.
Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can't control the kind of rope with your hands there. Sure. Okay. Oh, we got a little bit of cut there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let me see. Actually, you know what? Can we just hold off just a, just a moment? Because I want to get someone to get a picture of sure. this on your hand. Yeah. Um, I'll try to expat that item yeah. just quick enough. And if not, I'll try to go grab a camera. Are right. you okay holding for a few minutes? Yeah. Okay. Thank you.
about the easiest uh, last name to spell in a long time. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. And while she sits up there, I'll just ask you some questions about sure. it. So I see you got this um, yeah. on your, is that from today? Yeah. Okay. And you got yeah. something on the back of your head. Do you have any other injuries? you feel any bruising anywhere else? I don't feel anything. Okay. Um, and we'll take a look at his back. Yeah. Well. Might have you take your shirt off sure. and take a quick look and see if you get any marks or injuries back there. Sure. So I know you're a hit in your head. Um, are you okay to stand up? Sure. Okay. I'm going to have you stand up just right against this wall right here. All right. And then I can drain my bladder after this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And then so we'll, we'll get face me first. <laughs> What's that? So face me first. Oh. Basically, I'm going to do a set of overall photographs sure. and then we'll do your injuries one okay. by one, okay? And then I'll swab your hands and it won't take that long. Just look right mm -hmm. at me. Mm -hmm. Now, were, were you, these are clothes you were wearing at the time of everything? Okay. Okay, look right at me. Okay, turn the face that way with your whole body. There you go. Face the wall so your back's to me. Turn to your right. Okay, face me again. All right, and then if you, you know what's sad when you're posing for photographs and you don't have a good side? <laughs> Put your hands like this. Okay, lower them just a little bit so you're tilted down more. Okay. So you're like this, tilt. Oh, hands okay. tilted. Yeah. Okay. So you can stand up All straight. Right. There you go. Turns out we can move the camera around. <laughs> okay, and then palms up. Okay, so I'm going to swab your hands right now, sure. um, just so that yeah. I'm not manipulating so much. And then, um, yeah, as soon as she's all done here, I'll get you into, we'll go to the next one. Next, we'll take some pictures of each of your injuries. We'll check your back out, and I'll let, let you go use the restroom, and I'll get you a new water. Or do you want soda or anything? No, I'm good. Okay. Water would be good after, but okay. not before. Do you have a face mask? Do you What's that? Do you have a face mask? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I am a full service shop. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That's either PPE or she's Chinese. <laughs> 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 Maybe I'm feeling sick. <laughs> Knowing her, I'm going to go with sick. Um, okay, you never know. We all have a little piece of everything in us, right? No, around here we come in contact with so many different people. And then everyone's got kids. Yes. And then you next thing you know, one person is sick. And it could be the middle of the summer when there's nothing going around. And within a week, everyone's sick. Yeah. This is more just so I don't have my DNA on your arms. I just don't. Need to have that mixed in there. I miss the old days when I wasn't in the office. I was out in the field. Then I knew that I only had to deal with the people I was kind of in contact with. Not all this going yeah. on. Is that your house down there? No, I live in the same time Oh, okay. No, it's uh, my sister's house. Oh, okay. I was like, that's a pretty nice neighborhood. I've never been in that neighborhood ever before. It's a maze, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I had to sit forever to get, try to get a code to get inside. I took Google Maps and I'm like, you're still not taking me where I need to go. <laughs> Everything south of Queen Creek is like that down there. When they built all those neighborhoods in the early 2000s, it was more aesthetically pleasing if it was circular and the roads didn't go straight. Meandered lines. and nobody could get in or out. Yeah. Without a Sherpa. I, yeah. I grew up in the North Valley where everything's straight lines, um, but not down there. Okay. Well, I'm, okay, I'm 
How far out in San Tan are you? Uh, Cones and uh, Ironwood. Okay. Yeah. They finally finished Cones and Rigs, it connects. Oh, wow, about time. 15 years too late? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> They shut down Rittenhouse for a month to do that uh, exchange of cones in Rittenhouse. Uh-huh. You know, where it's a stupid yeah, yeah. one lane, left turn. Yeah, yeah, if you want to go up to the pork shop. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they shut that down for a month to do this redo on this road. Of course, t- the one area where um, most of the like tourist traffic for over on there mm-hmm. is, is the worst traffic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we shut that down. That's Pinal County, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, that would explain it. Okay, I'm going to do um, a swab of the inside of your cheek. It's just to get your own DNA sure. that way. No, just on the, just, just right there. Yeah. Is. Okay. Like yeah, it's just pebbles, and there's a. I got those ugly red moles. Okay. I'm just wanted to make like sure that wasn't another. <laughs> another mark. I don't know. I can't see the back of my head, so I'm sure it's not pretty. <laughs> no, actually, your haircut's pretty decent. <laughs> Except that <laughs> voice that you're still taking. Except for the lump there. Oh, nice. The camera. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was just saying, I've never seen anything, ever seen this. I've got the adjustable LCD on my uh, Sony. Okay. They're really nice. Yeah, it makes you be able to see different angles without having yeah. to. Yeah, you can shoot crazy angles and still see what you're doing. You don't have to have your eye behind the camera. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to have you sit just so that I can do a couple more. Okay. Yeah, that, one is, that one is that the other one's going to be shaking a little bit because it's heavy to hold those. Especially when you're holding up at an angle like that. I'll be excited when they switch to the new mirrorless. Those things are light. Yeah. Um, my, my wife has one of those. I love that thing. I just got one about six months ago. You said the Sony? Yeah, the yeah. A, A7 III. I think she has the A6 something. What? Is 600? Yeah, I think that's 6,000. I think it's, a, it's, it's one. Of, okay. it's like, I don't, she doesn't let me use it. Uh, let me get this shirt. Too. Sure. I just know what it costs. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I own this one at home, and this is an expensive camp. Well, you can also use it commercially, too. What, what's that one? This one is the 700s, or 750. Oh, the D750? Oh, those are really nice. So it's full frame, and oh, it's yeah. really nice. Oh, yeah, it's 32 meg, that's good resolution. So I'll have you seen yeah. that. Uh, mm-hmm. I think we want to check under your shirt. Yeah, sure. sure. Can you take my shirt off? Sure. Let's see. Normally around. a little red right here? Yeah. Okay. Just normal? Okay. Um, just want to show. I'm yeah. just going to take sure. a photo that there's nothing there. No. Yeah. No, nope. I don't see any. Okay, and then face me. Mm-hmm. Obviously, if, if you later on yeah. realize or feel you got a bruise sure. forming, it may not be visible now, let us know yeah. and we'll get a photograph of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like I said, your neck's pretty red, but that's normal, right? What's up? I just want to make sure. So you're you're pretty. Yeah, red that's there. more from driving. And the sun's always on my neck. Yeah, okay. you can't just ever get enough sure. shade. No, driving the truck. All right. So that's, that's it. All I need. Right? Oh, Small. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Thank you.
Here you go, sir. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Sorry about, that. Sorry, Sorry about that. Thanks for your patience. No worries. All right. So it's fun staring at nothing. <laughs> so um, just want to kind of go back through a couple things yes. real quick. Yep. Um, your sister had mentioned something kind of historically. I guess it, she said they, she just recently moved back. She went to Houston or somewhere yep. and then recently moved back yep. about three weeks ago. If she was saying something about... Um, Charles texting your other brother. Is it Andy? Adam. Adam? Do, do you know anything about that? Okay. No. Nope. Um, she... When... It, oh, so I'll, I'll kind of walk through an order. Sure. When you... Uh, when the, when the, the, the yeah. argument actually came to you, what, you said you were on the phone? No. Okay, you were just in the room. Yeah. Okay, I thought you said you were on the phone. No. So you weren't on the phone with anybody. No, my you phone were... was in that room. Okay, your phone was in the room, so were you. Yeah. And then they, they came your way. Yeah. Um, and then you're not sure where Lori and Tylee were when you came when back. When I came back out, that's correct. Okay. Um, 
Where was your gun at in the room? It was in my bag in a case at the foot of the bed. So the bed was here, and then the gun was here in a case. Okay. Inside like a duffel bag or something? Yeah, it was like a zip, yeah, a little orange bag. Okay. And then my case was in there. Okay. Is it the hard plastic case? Yeah, the hard plastic with the foam and the extra clips and everything. Okay. Is there a reason you spent the night there last night? No, not really. Okay. Just hang out. We were going to hang out today. Okay. Did your sister ever tell you she was concerned for her safety or well-being for Charles coming there? No. Okay. But watching him interact with her, I was. Okay. So do you normally carry a gun with you? Yeah. Okay. But you didn't have it on your person during this? No. Okay. When we talked about Tylee basically having the bat, Charles taking the bat away from Tylee, you said there was a struggle after that. Yeah. What happened? I grabbed it from behind. Okay. And then we went to the ground. And then we separated, and he hit me, and then that's when I left. Okay. So you grabbed him from behind? Yeah. How come you grabbed him from behind? Because he was in front of me, and he was going after Tylee with the bat. What was he doing with the bat? He just grabbed it from her, and then I jumped in. I don't know what he did with it. Okay. So he was going after Tylee with the bat, and you grabbed him from behind? Yes. Around the neck or? Over the shoulder like this. Okay. You grabbed him from behind. Yeah. You pulled him back, and you guys both went to the ground. I pulled him back, and we both went to the ground, yeah. Okay. Did you see him swing the bat at you? No. Okay. So you pulled him to the ground. You got back up. I got back up. He hit me in the back of the head. I don't know if it was with the bat or not. I assumed it was. Okay. Because he had it. Okay. So he hit you in the back of the head. Yeah. And you go to the room. Yeah. Okay. And you don't know where Lori or Tylee are when you go back to the room? Correct. Okay. You come back from the room. Yeah. And you basically get initial or mark kind of here on this corner. Yeah. That you're basically at the corner of the living room? Well, this is a hallway here, so there's like a wall here that divides the kitchen. Okay. So I'm somewhere in this area. Okay. And he's in the living room? Yes. And he still has the bat? Yes. Is he now focused at you or is he focused at Lori? He's focused at me and he's yelling at me and he moves towards me. What was he what was he saying to you? Do you remember? Not really. Okay. Um, I just remember yelling. Okay. And then I was watching more body language and when someone aggressively comes at you. Okay. Are you uh, do you have your CCW? Yeah. Okay. So you um, so he, he's basically coming at you and he's yelling, you're watching his body language. Yeah. And you said you told him and I, I, I didn't when I we're talking, yeah. I'm, not, I'm trying to not take notes and listen to what you're saying. I'm trying to calm the situation. Okay. I'm going to drop your bat, and he's, fuck you, and whatever. Okay. Kind of in. Um, did you, did you ever tell him to leave, or did you just say drop the bat, or? First, I just said drop the bat. Okay. And then, did you say anything else after that? I didn't have time. Okay. So he came after you with the bat, and yep. he's kind of holding it in yep. his hand? Yeah, in his right hand. Okay. Um. You fire a couple times. Yep. And then you go to the kitchen. Correct. And then back to the bedroom. Yes. Okay. When you went back to the bedroom, you washed your hands. No, I washed my hands. Sorry, you washed your hands in the kitchen. Yep. You put your gun back in your room. Yep. Where'd you set it at? Uh, Just on the floor. Okay. So you set it on the floor, um, get your phone. Yep. Call 911. Yep. And then when did you realize Lori had gone? Did you call her? No. Okay. So you called 911. Did you have, do you CPR on him? I did. Okay. I tried. Okay. Um, but you weren't on the. I, I must have missed you. I thought you said you were on the phone when. when uh, oh, yeah, no. You, did you hear them arguing about his phone? I don't. All I heard was her say, don't touch me, and then him okay. coming right after her. Okay. Um, you said that. You, a couple months ago, Tylee was at your house, mm-hmm. and he came over. What, yep. what happened? Tell me a little bit more about that. He was going insane trying to locate Lori, because Lori wasn't talking to him. Okay. They had split up. So he was bugging everybody in the family, blowing up their emails, phones, just sending text messages, just 
anything he could do to try and get somebody to tell Lori to contact him. So he was just spazzing out. So Tylee and I were pulling up to my house, and he comes, he followed us, and then he sped up and blocked my driveway. And he got out and ran up to me real aggressively like he was going to do something. And he just stopped and talked. And then Tylee got out and yelled at him. And uh, and then that lasted, I don't know, 15 minutes in the front. Okay. A lot of screaming between, a lot of screaming at Tylee at Charles and Charles uh, trying to leave and her not letting him because she wanted to get everything out that was bothering her. Okay. So he didn't go after Tylee at that time? Physically he did not okay. do anything. Um, have you have you spent a lot of time around Charles? Yeah. Is he is he hot headed? Not normally. Okay. So have you ever besides the argument between him and Tyler, have you ever no. seen him like you saw him today? No. Okay. No. Uh, how would you describe him today? Uh, very aggressive. Okay. Um, Physically aggressive, uh, going after Tylee, going after Lori, going after me. Okay. I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen him behave like that. I was shocked. Okay. How long have they been together? 15 years, maybe. Okay. Um, oh, a good while. And did, did they live here before? Yeah, they lived here a couple times. Okay. They lived here. Uh, they, li- they met. They lived in Austin. Then they moved. Then they moved to Chandler. Then they moved to Hawaii. Then they moved back here. And then I think they split up. And then she went to live with in Houston for two months, and I wasn't working out. So then she came back here and got a place. Okay. And then he had just come back out here. And he got a, he got a pl- or she came back out here and got a place. How long ago was that? I don't, I don't remember. Okay. Within two months. Okay. So the last couple of months. Um, but she never said anything about having you come over because she didn't feel safe with him or because he was showing up or anything no. like that. Okay. Um, Is it normal for you? She, she had expressed that he had threatened her in some email and text messages. Okay. Saying he was going to stop her or destroy her or something to that effect. And when, and when did she tell you that? Well, I don't know. A couple weeks ago when she got the text. Okay. So that was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it wasn't... We, we talked about it, but it wasn't anything. Gotcha. On so the she, top of my head. you weren't under the impression that she had you there to, to make no. sure that he was, you know, no. didn't he cause an it. issue or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And you had the gun, you so you didn't bring a gun for that purpose. I always carry it. Okay. Um, when I and I had uh, my other gun in the truck, and my niece just gave me a gun. I thought we'd maybe go to the shooting range because the other my sister uh, my niece gave me a, a 380. Okay. Uh, she didn't want it anymore. Gotcha. And, uh, so I was going to take it for my sister because she's got tiny hands. I was going to let her shoot it. Okay. Um, just recreational for yeah. sport, not because always, you felt she needed it for no, 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 targets. Self-protection or anything. No, um, no I never considered Charles to be violent or a threat before today. Okay. And you, when you grabbed him, yeah. when he was going after yeah. Tylee yeah. and your sister, yeah. you grabbed him around the shoulder, you yank him to the yeah. ground, but you never saw him swing the bat at you at that time. Correct. Okay. You when, we, when you got up. Yeah. What happened right after you got up? Well, we went to the ground and separated, and then I was getting up like this, and just my head bounced. Okay, so as you were getting yeah. up is when you felt the strike to the head. And then you got up, what did you do? Did you go? I just went straight to the room. Okay. Because I said, hey, this needs to calm down. Okay. And that's what I was hoping would happen. So when you got back with the gun, you were assuming that he was going to... I thought he would I thought he would back down at that point. Okay. And he did? He did not. Okay. Um... Anything else you could think of that, that I need to know that we haven't talked about? I can't think of anything. Okay. You don't need any medical attention for your head? I'd like to get that cut cleaned up. Okay. I think we're almost done, yeah. so we'll, if, uh, sure. if we're almost done, I'll, I'll, we'll probably get you and Lori and Tylee back to the house. You won't be able to go in. Yeah. Um, because we're, we're, you know, working at a, sure. as a scene. Absolutely. How did the injury on your arm happen? Uh, I'm guessing somewhere in the tussle. Okay. Were there, were there any strikes thrown besides you getting hit in the back of the head? Um, no, just me shoving him. Okay. And that was initial in the in the bedroom? That was, with the, yeah, exactly. Okay. That's when I got involved. Okay. 
And the only other time they got physical with anybody is when he was going after Lori and Tylee, and you grabbed him around the neck. Correct. Dragged him back, and you both fell to the ground. That's correct. Okay. No, we're just running a criminal history to make sure that you're not a prohibited possessor, so there's no felony convictions. Correct. There was a confessed felony, aggravated assault. Okay. In Austin, Texas in 2007, I think. Have your rights been restored? Are you legally able to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so your rights are restored. All done. You're able to possess a firearm. I was never convicted. Oh, okay. I pled guilty, but they have deferred adjudication in Texas, so I completed probation and then. Gotcha. That was that. Okay, so it was an open-ended thing, so it's a misdemeanor now. Well, whatever. It's just on there as a whatever. I don't know what the technical record is. Okay. I know I went to court, and she said, all your rights are restored, and gave me the paper, and I'll find it. Gotcha. After four years. All right. Hang tight. I'm going to go see if they're done with Lori. We'll get you guys all together so we can get you out of here. Just make sure that the people that are monitored don't think I have any other questions that I need to ask. Sure. Yeah. All right, thanks. I appreciate your patience, man. No problem. Thank you.
go by Alex or Alex? Yeah, Alex. Alex? Alright, we're just gonna walk over and go over where your sister is. Sure. Here's that. It's Oh, is that what you were wearing when you went yeah, yeah. down? Okay, yeah. just make sure.